make the coffee and everything explode. Yeah, that's why Anthony's so busy. Yeah, that's why Anthony's so busy. Yeah, that's why Okay, everybody, can you hear me? Yes! Yeah. Dave Harry. Okay, this is the poem, the title. Save your life now 75 years long. It sure deserves a little song. Born in 1938, a long time past to fill the slate with all the wonderful things you made. Sitting quietly in mum's kitchen, seeing her forever mixing food for clients, very grand, dining at town and country's restaurant. For you, this was an utter bore. And when in charge, you went and tore all the trappings from the floor, being happy to restore the old house to its former glory. <laughs> Many more things came to follow. A water wheel inside the hollow. Soon a steam engine appeared. Puffing steam as we all neared to watch the mussels in the sack made ready to eat as a tasty snack. Blackbourne's old house from Parker Road appeared on your land as a museum abode, leaving us all to learn of the history, cleaning up most of Oratia's deep mystery. <laughs> the cemetery grounds did not miss your attention, a prayer house and dawns this place's quiet sanction. Placed there by you for us all to enjoy the strains of old music, so peaceful for all. It is great to remember all the things that you gave to us here in Oratia, dear Dave. Due to your vigilance, our history is safe. That was written by Anne Marie Ent. Uh, uh, thank you, Anne Marie, that's just extraordinary. Um, I'm sorry, but we're in chaos, common or Mars. And uh, um, the key factor is we really must make sure there are no children or animals on the other side of the screen. And, uh, that's one. Yes. That's the only thing we're really worried about. And because God knows what's going to happen. <laughs> I don't think it means and Robin, Robin's going to give you a very quick sort of brief look at the history of film um, in the four minutes. And uh, there we are. Hello. <laughs> Thanks everyone for coming. Happy <laughs>
Done a good job. Because he's a president <laughs> of the Hot Rods or something, yeah, he's involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 it's not bad. So I only know that he's a Hot Rods player of the shit. But so it's all we do. This week we can all have a you guys on the shower. You guys on the shower. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Once in the family, obviously. You got a muzzle on your boy. How's Bob? Good, man. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you. How's it Yeah, cool. Good to see you. Uh, oh, progressing here up to the museum station. Thank you. 
Bobby, stop it. Bobby, stop it. Right, um, I've got uh, some footage here from Dave. He's uh, managed to find the first ever moving film uh, recorded in France. I've forgotten what year it was, but uh, it was the first recorded film. So I'm just going to show a bit of that because it's got a bit of a railway theme, and I think uh, you, you know he's, he's quite an enthusiast. Watch this. I can't watch this. I don't think anybody here was on this. Hands up if they were. Hold on, is it nice? <laughs> <laughs> you want, want a drink? Hold on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why we're good stepmother. Well, and uh, yeah, we're movies nowadays. And uh, down here in the forest here, we're proud to have the first oh, where five the, the movie light? coming up. <laughs> Dave Harry, you're a legend, and you managed not to kill anyone. <laughs> shaky chairs, so there's really com comfy chairs inside. <laughs> thanks to Faye. So, thanks to Faye and Paul for so much, like all the wood and everything else that went into it. Thank you. And, and also, um, there's a huge sad thing tonight, I guess, too, because Faye and Paul are moving down to another place. And I'm, I'm, I must them totally in order here. But aura tears in their heads and they can never escape that. Exactly. Maybe tell us a bit about the trend or oh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Love it, the Somebody said uh, about the carriage. Well, uh, it was it was built in 1887 uh, and was used mainly on the Ramataka incline with the shell engine. Um, then, when lots of 
guys were overseas and there was a shortage of farm workers in 1944, um, this, the railways cut all their carriages in half that they didn't were old and sent them out to the farms as accommodation for farm girls. And this carriage was um, one of those that ended up in, in Wokworth and some really, really close friends of mine uh, had, had, the, had this land and they, um, the land was in chaos and they demolished the terrible houses that were there and everything. And one house had already fallen over and uh, un underneath it was this carriage. Um, so, and I was told it's 8313 and so we knew exactly what it was built and everything. So we, I thought it must, must, must go to uh, Motat. I mean, it's one of the oldest in Hong Kong. And um, Motat refused it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so Motat didn't want it. They said you couldn't even move it, just had it. And uh, but we were determined, and we all went, the whole family went up and camped beside it, and we braced it and bolted it. And then this marvellous, uh, transport company gave us a quote of four grand to move it down here um, and the, the particular driver came and worked on it for a whole day and, uh, and we got it down here at night and it was so exciting it didn't it didn't break up bits flew off as we traveled along the motorway <laughs> but it got here and uh, then the bill arrived and it was for three hundred dollars oh. that's great huh? and then of course, it's all built of kauri, uh, so we were desperate for timber and then Fang Paul helped us out immensely with the timber they had in their shed. Paul had saved over a long period of time. <laughs> Et la voilà, c'est ici. It's good. And thanks for the tolerance of everybody and everybody that's helped with it because it has been a strain. Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's good. And so if you have a chance, go inside and you can see a lot of light lamp inside and that's it. Thank you.